Hello once again audience, I'm Mad Cow, also known as Michael. Today I'm going to be riding a horse randomly. And also I'll be reviewing the 1.7 update that came out yesterday I believe. So if I just ride over here and get started. So to start off with, there have been some new trees. So this is called the Dark Oak Tree. As you can see, it's a nice new tall tree. Um, the logs look like that, and the planks look like this. It is a two by two saplings, which means that you need four of them. And then the next tree is the ackee wood. So if this hadn't grown, the sapling would look like uh, that, that was loud, um, um, trees look like this, logs are a nice pinkish colour, so are the planks and things that can be made from it. So next up we have colours, so these are the new stained glass, um, as you can see there's one for each die, and there aren't any of these weird textures as visible for them. We also have the uh, hardened clay which is made by smelting a clay block. These also come in different colours, each of the dyes again. So next up we have a new type of grass. This is called Podzel and it can be found in one of the new biomes. Um, you can, it acts like mycelium, so you can grow mushrooms on it without any shelter. So, yeah. Um, lots of new flowers as well. So we have a dandelion, a poppy, uh, a blue orchid, an alumium, I think, azure bluette, different types of tulips, an oxide daisy, and then a sunflower, which will normally face the sun. So next up we have the red sand. So that can be found in one of the new biomes as well. Uh, so yeah. Um, next up we have some new potions. These come from, uh, not sure. But so these are the potions of water breathing. You can get them in 3 minutes and 8 minutes. And splash potions you can get 2 minutes, 15 seconds and 6 minutes. So if I just change game mode. As you can see there's the new potion effect. And while this is on you do not lose any um, water things. So another new thing are the fishing enchantments. So you can get luck of the sea and lore. And if I just get swap back into creative and get a fishing rod, um, you have the chance of catching fish, junk, and treasure. So. Um, the fish I'll show you in a minute but you also get the chance of collecting junk and you can get a treasure which can be things like books of enchanting and other things so as you just saw I caught a raw salmon um, other fish you can catch include the clownfish, mostly known as Nemo. You can catch the puffer fish and you can catch the raw salmon. So the raw salmon is the only one that can be cooked, same as the normal fish. And okay, another new thing. Maps can now fit the whole frame as you can see. Unfortunately this is a normal bio, uh, super flat biome 
so you can't actually see much but that is where I've set up so next if I get a uh, flint and steel again so this is the average size nether portal works still as soon as it's loaded as you can see perfect and then if I go back close that as you can see we can now get super large nether portals that work exactly the same however as you can see they do not come out at the same size on the other side Unfortunately though, I'm not sure if this is just because of how bad this circle is, you cannot make circular nether portals yet. So if I now cut into the option menu, like so, there are now a lot of new things. As you can see, um, down here, in music and sounds, you now have master volume you can now change the sound of the music how loud everything else is in minecraft including jukeboxes and note blocks the noise you make when walking on placing and destroying blocks how loud friendly creatures are how loud hostile creatures are because you may not want to hear cows and sheep but you may still want to be able to hear when creepers are approaching you can now hear how loud players are, this includes you, and how the how loud the environment is. So if I go into the next thing, video settings, as you can see there's now anastropic filtering, I'm not sure what that is, but as you can see there's mipmap levels, um, frame rates, anagraph, um, is this changed? You can now have multiple resource packs loaded, such as the Dugu Craft for 1.6. This may not work properly, but as soon as it's stopped lagging, as you can see, the Podzil has not changed. So and neither has the stained glass so that's the new one of them uh, you can now change things in the super secret settings so if I click on that I've now got a white square instead of a cursor um, if I go and change the resource pack see if that changes so it's a larger cursor um, there is the watercolor minecraft which as you can see lags on my screen this does not affect any of the HUD uh, there's this one which creates white lines around everything mm. and I believe is 8-bit mm. so yeah mm. um, give me a second while I cut back to you okay so we're back so this is what's known as the amplified world gen um, not sure what this does I believe it sets random things off so the forest fires over there that was not me but I also believe that this is one of the new biomes this is called the stone biome so uh, there were lots of new biomes created I'm going to attempt to find some so I'll be back with you in a minute
So as you can see, the wire type amplified is just for fun and it also requires a beefy computer. And we're back. So this is one of the new biomes. I believe it's called the Thick Forest. It's basically got mushrooms in it everywhere and it's a really thick canopy of leaves. This would probably be a better area to show. So yeah, be warned, this is a good place for mobs to spawn due to the leaves. Um, so yeah, on to the next biome. Okay, so our next biome is called the Deep Ocean. So the Deep Ocean does have some land in it, but if I drop down, as you can see, it's, well, very deep, and there is nothing but gravel on the floor. So, although this is a great place for gravel, you'll need a water breathing potion and a lot of shovels. So, on to the next biome. Okay guys, and we're back. So, this is the one of the new bi another one of the new biomes. I'm not sure what this is called, but as you can see, this is where you get podzel. And you also have these mossy stone um, boulders everywhere. So these are populated with spruce wood trees. Um, also there are a lot of mushrooms everywhere for you to collect your podzel and grow your mushrooms. Um, as you can see wolves spawn here. So yeah, on to the next biome. Okay and we're back. So this next biome is called the Akia Wood, is called the Savannah even, and is where you find the Akia Wood, um, and apparently also floating sand, let's go cause a chunked update, there we go, um, so yeah. In this particular one, there is a villager. Uh, there is a um, a village with lots of noisy villagers. So yeah, on to the next seed. The yeah, on to the next biome. Okay, guys. So I've just found out that this is called the Mega Tiger biome, and I've also remembered that. There is a new item called the pack dice, and if I place some torches around it, if I can actually get the torches, um, you'll see it doesn't melt. So on to the next biome. Okay, so this will be the last biome that I show you because I'm struggling to find any others. But, as you can see, I've got F3 open, so I could help get it. So, this is the ice spike biome. So, as you can see, this is made completely out of packed ice, all of these spikes. Um, as you can see, it does not melt, even to lava. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video off here. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.